Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's Brie. Hey, I'm Jamie. And our guest of honor, Bobby. Returning guest, Bobby. I know we're returning guest now. of honor. Episode You're still, two now. Still an honor to have you here, though. This yeah, is Bobby my third is time here. on the show. Your third time on the show, but second yeah. episode. And Bobby is from Not For Everyone podcast. We want to get that out first because last time we waited until the very end. Yeah, Not For Everyone podcast. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> not for everyone, but for you. Remember? But for you, exactly. Yeah, it's not it's for everyone, for but it might be for you. Might, Jamie might listens. Just be. I, of course I do. All right, guys, we're we're here to talk about fucking aliens and all shit going on in the world currently. I think that we are three people who have very strong opinions about what's going on and a lot to say. And we've been quiet as of recently. And I think we've we've come together to gather some thoughts and uh, spit some some shit right now and, and talk some talk spit some fire for sure I know, exactly so let's start with the hottest topic that like you said we've all been kind of keeping a little bit of um closed lips on this whole disclosure topic yeah this whole especially and specifically talking about the kind of documents that were released the whole ufo report or whatever they're calling it yeah i remember talking to you two like months ago saying like we should do a big special episode on this and then the, they came out and were like oh if we huh. do an episode, it's certainly <laughs> yeah. not going to be special. Well, no. episode on what? On what? <laughs> yeah, right. Um, and and that's like that's what's most like everything that comes from official sources is always like a bittersweet disappointment because it's like I want disclosure, but I also like I don't want like a dry heave government narrative of a disclosure you know mm -hmm. it's it's almost like I'm, I'm really excited and i don't I'm not gonna get political or anything but i'm really excited that we pulled out of afghanistan but at the same time it was so botched it's like i can't really se celebrate it and it's kind mm -hmm. of the same phenomenon with this if that makes sense it's this bittersweet kind of thing i i understand what you're saying it's like yes more and more people are talking about this ufo topic but i think that what's very weird about the situation is we have a lot of people who are, are becoming very dependent upon like the government dropping information about aliens and it's like this stuff has been going on for a long time people have been talking about it for a long time and i find it so strange and weird that people are so obsessed with this government aspect of it why they need you know mommy and daddy big brother to tell them that aliens are real seems so fucking strange to me whereas like you me brie and anyone else that's been following this pretty much our whole lives and for some people even before that mm -hmm, have mm -hmm. been i wouldn't i wouldn't say i'm like a victim of of like like uh aggressive ridicule because they're just like oh that's bobby he's into weird shit but like yeah some people built their whole careers around this mm -hmm. they're all their credibility about it and yeah i'm sure there's some hucksters in the field but it's like now it's it's okay for the normies to come out and be like hey did you hear what uh did you see what hear what uncle sam said about the about the spaceships and you're like dude like why would you listen to them of all people and not consider what your friends are telling you? you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's very strange to me. Um, even people I think that have been following this topic for a while, um, or maybe they thought that they were, and then all of a sudden it's like their whole focus is on this. And that's what makes me think like, are you really about this topic if you feel like this is such a special moment? You know, I feel like I've been struggling in this whole thing on my own for so long that I have no dependency on any official person telling me what this is and, and, and it isn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, And, and so and it's confusing to me when people are like, yeah, I love UFOs. This is awesome. I'm like, yeah, it's almost like the whole UFO thing, like sold out. It's like, it's like a band yeah. you like before anyone else. And now it's like, oh, the yes. normies are into it because mm -hmm. the mainstream, or in this case, the yes. government said it's okay to consider it or whatever. But does that make us assholes though? Because it kind of feels that way. I feel like I can't really voice this opinion <laughs> we're like, to other we're like people. Hipsters. Yeah. Like, like we're like, we're gatekeeping the, the topic now because we're yeah. like, listen, listen, we've been here for a long time. And you people who are just showing up, like you can't, don't, don't come in here. Don't knock on our door. Like we <laughs> have in your lane. Like, stay in your lane. <laughs> like, who, I got the I got the Phoenix the lights recording on vinyl. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly <laughs> right like you don't understand like i have it tattooed on my back and it's been there yeah. since 1994 but in, in all seriousness and who are we to judge it but it does feel like we we all have this very big investment in this topic and in this you know train of thought and all these conspiracy theories that we're into so to have all these new people come in and not only come in but i think be super aggressive and it's like the vibes of it are not good at all so like the people who are coming in and making a lot of comments and being obsessed with this government stuff I'm not hating on everyone, but it seems like a very weird group of people who are like super aggressive and say a lot of mean comments and tweet a lot of really mean things to people. And it's like, holy shit, like we're just trying to learn about UFOs. Like you ain't got to bring my mom into this. Have you noticed that like as of recently with like what people seemingly to be into this because of? What do you mean? The quote unquote disclosure. Like are, are these these more aggressive characters that you're interacting or encountering? Do you seem to see like an uptick in that since it's like been deemed okay? By yeah, the I think that's that to talk well, about it. It's not that it's okay that it's to talk about it. I think that what it is is like there's a, a very large group of people out there who like really don't believe in it. And because it's so prominent, they find it more necessary to like jump mm. out and to make more comments about it. So you have like okay. almost these these sides like fighting with each other because it's more public. So more people are like they're defending their sides. Like these people who are really into UFOs are talking about their stories. And then these people who are like, I don't give a shit what you say. Fuck yourself. Like your story is bullshit. None of that's true. And it's like a lot of that is very prominent right now because of how prominent it is in the media. That and like everything's so fractured now in slash tribal. Like you can, very, I can sit are here very... and say, I believe in X, Y, Z, and then find like nine sources online to support my argument and say, see, it was, it was on the internet. Here's my mm -hmm. sources. They're cited in everything. Whereas like you could do the exact same thing from a different perspective. Yeah. So I think that that's kind of like almost part of the like divide and conquer psyop itself it's like who are you going to look to to like get you like to um solidify and like in in and push the preferred narrative by mm -hmm. the powers that be so it's like okay we're bickering with people online about what's real what's not um you know you're dumb that's stupid all that stuff and it's like at the end of the day like the people are divided on it it doesn't mm -hmm. have to be ufos it's just anything it's just any kind of topic exactly and then the government tries to get a hold of that narrative and like drip it through all the masses and i wouldn't say unite is because i think there's some intentional division going on but you know what I'm mm -hmm. they're trying to control where we're, where we're steering this ship and as far as the people that are new to this topic because of that i'm just like of all the times to get involved in this like you're listening to the wrong people, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You're following the wrong shit. I agree. Well, and it's so interesting that you said psyops because one of my very serious theories about these government documents and the government talking about this information is because it is a giant fucking psyops. To what it is outside of that, I do not know, but that's just my personal opinion and my feeling of what's going on. There's something behind the scenes happening and this, this information that's being dropped and how they're talking about the topic is nothing more than a distraction that's going on. So I just, I find it so, so it's disheartening to me when people are so into it because I'm like, oh my God, you're falling for the trap and the distraction. That's what mm -hmm. kind of frustrates me about it. Do you guys mm -hmm. feel kind of like maybe that same way that that there's a possibility that this information that's coming out and the way it is by the government is, you know, kind of smoke screens, like false flags, what's going on here? Q is over. So now they're ramping up the whole UFO thing for a bunch yes. of fanatics to fall to. I, was, I knew Bobby was going to be like, yep. So that was here, a psyops to here's me. Here's my thought. This, this, like this whole <laughs> past <laughs> two years has been a psyop as far as I'm concerned. I agree. Including, including the Q shit. Um, I and I was just going to mention like, it, and what's kind of disheartening is like a lot of the old school uh, voices in the UFO community seem to be shilling for one side or another. I'm not going to name names or anything, Yeah. but like you have like your David Wilcox and Corey Goods who are basically mm -hmm. were full on pushing the Q stuff. And mm -hmm. I don't know if that was a, and I'm a fan of a lot of their stuff. Like I can listen to people I don't agree with, or I find to be controversial yeah, of course, of and course. still learn something from them or consider yeah. things that they're saying. And you know, I'm, I love ancient aliens and all that shit, but there's like one side that seems to be like pushing almost, I guess, like the right wing delusions of it all. With yes. hundred percent. Yeah. And then there's the other side and I won't name names, but like, just giving into all the hysteria of the last two years and like mm -hmm. and it all seems incredibly if they're not compromised or controlled they're definitely bought in mm -hmm, and it's mm -hmm. almost like 
it's almost like these uh, to the stars Academy type people, which by the way, is made of, of the guy from blink one and a two and a bunch of like ex CIA spooks. I'm like, yes, Blink those are trustworthy sources. But don't get me wrong. We love Blink-182. No <laughs> hate to Blink-182 Blink 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 as a band. But to, I to the Stars to like the Stars Academy, I can't. Dude Ranch. Can I, I'm still to this day. He said that he was going to release all this fucking bullshit and he was going to give us all this shit. And how many years has it been? And we have absolutely nothing, everyone. I just want to like put that out on the record. That we. Still I always don't have, have to correct you that you're man. wrong because he was the one that released the first videos. That That's right, but still nothing showing since us to then. He, to, he told us all these things and he was gonna be like, I have this meta material. You guys, I'm, you don't understand. I have all this stuff I'm going to release and then nothing nothing for years nothing where's so, where's the stuff tom yeah and i mean that's it right there right like so you have like former Listen, literal right. like deep state dream team former cia and people exactly you would think it's at, a task at, force at best which i don't believe at best they're just saying hey this stuff is starting to bubble up now maybe we should get a hold on the narrative and just kind of slowly uh, drip it out to the public so that they kind of uh, understand the reality of this. That's at best, which again, I don't put any credence into that at all. Um, I think there's 100% an agenda behind it, whether mm -hmm. people involved in it know or not, mm -hmm. and whether people who subscribe to it or, or, or uh, know it or not. So yeah, you have like this group of like, what traditionally of the last 40 years has been these like, UFO community, like, nutcases according to like the mainstream and you have like this is a hypothetical but i'm, I'm imagining this is what happens. like government entities came government institutions came to these people and said hey we're going to legitimize you we're going to legitimize your voices mm -hmm. um you just have to play by our rules because we want to control the disperse dispersion of this information mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um which muddies the water inherently right there mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> I have to agree with you. Uh, I mean, no one really questions the fact that it's a bunch of people that were in the government, like hiding all of this shit. And it's mm -hmm. just like, that's so convenient that now they're like, no, I'm on your side. Yeah. And we're like, yeah. <laughs> just so and excited. then you have like, like, you have like, I think it was like Lou Elizondo was on like Tucker Carlson and stuff. I'm just like, what is happening right now? It's like they're going, they're going towards like the right right now with this Very stuff much so. from, from that angle. And then it like, seems such an interesting choice too. I just, I, I'm having a hard time like grasping why they're making it so political like this all of a sudden. Like it's just, but the only thing I can think of is because I think it comes down to money at the end of the day. And everyone knows that that's realistically where you're going to get the big money is when you go to the right. Unfortunately, yeah, if, that's if, just like a fact is, of life. That's where the big not, dollars are. If there's not an agenda here, and I'm not talking about partisan agenda, I'm not talking about right or left. I'm just talking yeah. about, there's clearly an agenda that, you know, we're not being, um, uh, told about mm -hmm. um, whether that be like I said earlier a slow drip to the public to uh, acclimate them to this idea which I think that we pretty much already have yeah or if you want to go like the hardcore conspiracy Bill Cooper project blue beam route where they're gonna fake an alien invasion blah 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 because yeah. like the general public doesn't understand even the people that are just now getting into this because the government said it was okay to get into it yeah, right. a lot of the general public does not understand the nuance of this topic. Mm -hmm. They're like, it's either aliens or it's not. Yeah, if that's a UFO. That's aliens, right? It's not like, well, um, it could be military technology that the public doesn't know about. Mm -hmm, it mm -hmm. could be, um, you know, China or whatever China. It could yeah. be um, some sort of like deep state hologram program. Like there's all kinds of interdimensional, all kinds of possibilities here. But as far as the general public is concerned, it's like, oh yeah, the um, the guys at the CIA said that aliens, There's aliens, aliens, are real. exactly. Or are like real. UFOs are real. You were what's the new uh, acronym now? UAF. UAP. UAP. Unidentified yeah. aerial phenomenon. phenomenon. That's my that's my signal. That's my my red flag when someone starts saying uap i'm just like oh that like, guy's ooh, that guy's a, what do you yeah, want yeah, fuck yeah. off yeah that fuck guy's off. a shill we don't yeah. we don't want that in our lives right now exactly no but it's, it's a true. ufo okay i so feel so like dirt like not dirty but i feel like right now we're sitting in like the muds of my mind like mm. you know like this is the part of me that 
feels bad for feeling this way, but yet deep down, I feel this way. Like, who are these people? Yeah. Like, who are you at my house? <laughs> kind of get, thing. Get like, out of my swamp. Like, yeah. And just like, you're making this community into something totally different. I feel like there's a different community. Like it's a very, it's a very different vibe. The vibes people, are so different. The vibes are different. They're talking about the wrong things. They're mm-hmm, researching mm-hmm. the wrong, the wrong things. stuff. And yet they're like making a name for a community where I'm like, who are you people? But so then you, that's wrong of me. Like realistically, that's kind of wrong of me to feel that wrong. way. Exactly. Because I and should just like, be like, at least people are looking into talking UFOs. about the topic. Yes. But it's hard. It's hard when we're seeing things that we think are detrimental to the topic as a whole. Yeah. I, I would rather be like a complete fringe outcast weirdo in search of truth than like compromise that search of truth Same. with like Same. group acceptance Same. of like obvious. something that's vaguely familiar with, you know, this truth that we're seeking. But yeah. like you guys, you guys have your finger on the pulse in this world more than I do. Like when you say there's like, I guess like new vibes or like, who are these people? Like what exact, like, do you have any kind of examples of that? It's just, yeah, it's called hashtag UFO Twitter. <laughs> Bree's not a fan of UFO Twitter. It's, it's UFO Twitter is a toxic place, but you have to remember at the same time, Twitter is a toxic place in general. But I think it's more than just UFO Twitter. I think it is the culture that it is now. And like That's I'm I said, saying, I'm like, yeah. what is going on? Like, it is, what I is think this it is, place? It is this weird obsession with the government and UFOs that I think that we have the biggest issue with. Like this weird connection that the two of them have now is what really is throwing us for a fucking loop. And that's what's like the community has become. It's not UFOs and aliens anymore. It's UFOs, aliens, and the government. And it's like, you can't Mm -hmm. talk about one without talking about the other. And it's like, Mm -hmm. that's not, that's the farthest from like where we want to take the topic and what we've been for years trying to talk about. This is what we want to get away from. So it's just like, it sucks because it seems like we're going backwards instead of forwards. And at best, as far as government narrative knows, I uh, goes, I know that like, I don't know where I heard this, but I know that like, there's clearly disinformation agents out there. Oh, for sure. I think one of the tactics of disinformation is you have to sprinkle in a nugget of truth in that disinformation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so at mm-hmm. best, the government narrative can, can be something that we sit there and try to decipher like, okay, what is true about what they're saying? And then yeah. throw out the rest. Yeah. What concerns me is this community is just like, just like um, bending the knee at like whatever these people in the in the Blink-182 <laughs> UFO club say. And you're like, dude, like these are not the people to listen to if you're truly seeking like the answers here, I don't think. And not only that, but I think they're taking it and they're like, they're, they're, they're taking their words and like microscopically looking at them and like coming up with theories that are like, so like, I don't know. It just seems like the conversation goes so sideways than what it is that we need to talk about these days. And I wish that we could just get back to more, like, this is going to sound so hokey and fucking woo woo But like, can we just talk about talking to aliens? Like what happened okay, to that Stephen shit? Greer. I know. That's I'm not okay. a leader. Let me just, I'm just, but for real though, like that's the shit, like all this stuff, like, okay, they're real. Can we talk about the next thing now? Like, I'm just, I'm so done talking about if aliens are real, what's the next fucking thing we're doing? That's what I mean Mm -hmm. by it. Yeah. Cause we, I want to get to the point in our lifetime where we're debating, okay, which aliens are real or exactly is this military technology or is this something interdimensional or is this something from outer space? Like I'm done discussing whether or not this is real because at the very least the phenomenon itself is real which exactly. is worth talking about mm-hmm. so let's like, move I've on never to the had next experiences, part of it but i'm open to it and i, yeah. I trust you guys i know you guys have had experiences mm-hmm. whether we want to talk about is that a physical thing that happened with people from mars that came down in their spaceship or was this a psychological uh you know internal spiritual thing like that's the shit i want to talk about exactly i don't exactly. give a shit about okay. is it real or is it not mm-hmm. because that's like that's not going to get anyone anywhere. No. Yeah. And did Uncle Sam tell us it's real or if it's not? That's like where everyone's holding all of their their cards uh, right now. They're putting all the everyone eggs in this government is just basket. waiting. Mm-hmm. Just like, oh my god, what's going to happen next? When's the next drop? When's the next leak? And I'm just like, I feel like our focus is off. It's mm-hmm. so off. There's that- so many people who are into this who could be using that time and energy to be doing something productive. And instead, they're just like sitting around waiting for shit to happen. Yeah. I feel alienated in an alienated community. <laughs> like that's, you know what I mean? Like that's fucked up. Yeah. 
like I'm just like I can't relate to you guys <laughs> it, and it's hard to unfortunately because it's just like it's just a weird different world right now like before we were able to like laugh and make jokes about seeing UFOs and aliens and talking about shit and now it's like nobody wants to hear anything you're saying unless you're talking about what the fucking government is saying and it's like I don't know well, it's in, frustrating in like, and exhausting sometimes because I don't have the energy to keep up with that shit to be honest I, with you <laughs> I don't, I just, nor do I have the, the passion or the want to try to keep up with that shit. Uh, it's just, there's, it's, it seems so tedious to me. I feel bad calling out did. UFO Twitter. I have I know. To Bree, I know. <laughs> Bree's like, Bree's like the, I don't want to talk shit, but like, let me talk shit. Well, I just don't want to be like everyone. It's it, just, no, it's I not. meant to say that that hashtag tends to predominantly lead towards that. Exactly. But I think and how much of that is, is like bots that are trying to intentionally de- okay. be divisive. Exactly. On so that's part of it. There's definitely bots out there also too. And this is going to be slightly controversial. I don't know how Bobby's going to feel about this, but I feel like a big part of it too, is the fact that it's so still fucking male dominated that we have all of these men who are making a lot of these comments about these things. And I, as much as people hate on women that were like emotional or whatever, men are so fucking aggressive on the internet. And that's why we have a lot of the, so much of this hate and these like attacking that's going on on UFO twitter it's definitely coming from like a certain type and a certain side of ufo twitter i've seen some cat fights on twitter before well, don't Jane. give me that's what i'm saying don't get me wrong i'm not saying all women are fucking no yeah, yeah i think rainbows. that's fair like but it's like men, you have are, a lot of men people, are inherently more aggressive just in general let's just say masculine energy Ma- exactly. that could masculine be energy. Hey. yes there we a go masculine that's energy. what i'm here for masculine energy definitely that's what Can jamie's be, here for i am and i am don't get me wrong i am one of those people where i yell at people on twitter i'm not like i might be shit talking them but i'm also shit talking myself in that same fucking sentence because i'd be yelling at some people too unfortunately. which is how where we should be is and, and that's how twitter is so we can't be that upset at that's what the fuck is going yeah, on yeah i mean twitter. that's what you're signing up for with twitter i, I think that that like same thing with reddit it's that's not why even, I'm not on it's it not anymore. even a hashtag ufo community or what is it hashtag it UFO. is though that's but my it, no, no no it is but like Sorry. this what you're talking talking about transcends like any twitter community it's like what you do on twitter it's a game basically it's a game to like argue with people i love mm-hmm. twitter for that very reason yeah like no one like i have like kind of a supportive like i have friends and stuff that are on twitter that i've met through twitter that I don't even know what they look like and all that yeah. stuff but like at the end of the day like the appeal of twitter is like it's a larp right it's mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. let's put our ideas out there and then just ask what out happens yeah. aggressively in 280 characters or whatever it is now exactly yeah so we have to expect uh, that that's the kind of culture that's going on it's just i don't it's know true. i feel like it's strange it's just that the ufo culture was never there before like it is now like don't be wrong i'm sure that there was people who talk about ufos on twitter but the community but as really. it is now is as big as it is because of the well, mainstream media part of it well here's the white pill in all this is okay, that talk to the, us the internet has given everyone the opportunity, mm. uh, a lot of access to a lot of information that they normally maybe free. Would, wouldn't and have looked free. at. So I think with any community, as it grows, there's going to be some bad eggs in there. There's going to be some shit stirs in there. And a lot of people are attracted to controversial subjects just because they think it's fun to, to stir the pot. You're talking about um, extremists, and, think, and that's the same but, thing. We can talk about any religious group that does that, or right. anything like that. And it's like, it, and, and, course, and the larger a community grows, the more likely that those people are gonna infiltrate, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so exactly. I think it. I think I don't know if it's a like a, a specific UFO community thing. I think it's just like the way the world now, basically. Maybe no, you're like right, with, and it's really just any like, topic. It's just now it has become a part of that, and that is disheartening to me because I wish it was moving in a different direction. Yeah. I think that, I think that what I think we're all trying to say, or me and Brie at least are trying to say at the end of the day is it sucks that it, the kind of attention that it's getting, like people keep saying, but like, look at all the attention it's getting, but it's like this kind of attention kind of sucks. So it's like a weird double-edged sword that we have going on. It's like, exactly. yeah, people are talking about it, but like in all the fucking wrong ways. And it's like, right. Fucking it's shit. Like, here's, here's why you're wrong. Here's a document from the government, and you're like, you just proved my point. Whoop de doo, Basil. Like that the means government said, if yeah. anything, that means it's uh completely squashed your argument as far as yeah. I'm concerned. Exactly. But who knows? I don't know. Um, yeah. They just I don't even know. They're everyone's just very like whatever the government puts out is 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 the final word. And that's a community the original community has always been don't trust what the government says because they say one thing and give it 20 years and they'll say something different. 
And that's what's so, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm just, and it's like now all of a sudden we're just like, I trust you. I trust and, you. And yeah, and that's what's so baffling. <laughs> that's what's so baffling about like your like normal go to like uh, writers and speakers in this field. A lot of them seem to be towing the line with the government narrative. And I'm like, you guys are like more or less part of the fun conspiracy theory world. Like, I don't care how much of a toe you have dipped into the conspiracy theory world. You should question what the dominant institutions are telling you. And that's what makes me think that these people are on some level compromised, whether they blatantly said, Hey, here's a, here's a suitcase full of money, just play ball with us. Or, Oh my God, like an official source or an official institution is actually validating what we've been saying all these years. And maybe people won't think we're fucking crazy anymore. Like one way or the other, I think that that might be what's going on here. Um, but to your to everyone's point here about um, everyone seems to be jumping on on board with this one way or another, or at least considering it, despite the fact that we've been yelling about it our whole lives and got called crazy. Um, Still I getting don't called crazy. Yeah, it's fine. It's so whatever. Like, yeah, who cares? Just by a new um, group of people. Yeah, exactly. So. I think that if you were to do a hard disclosure now, like if, mm-hmm. if someone was to, if Joe fucking Biden was to come out and tell every, <laughs> tell the country in a state of the union address that UFOs are real and aliens are this thing. And like there, we have some on the white house lawn or like area mm-hmm. 51, we have all this technology. Yeah. Like, again, like nobody, the vast majority of people would not give a shit. Like, the, no. and I don't think that has to do, I, I, on some level has to do with like everything that's going on in the world right now in general, where it's like, no, okay, I understand what you're saying. We got bigger fish to saying. fry. But even if we take that out of the equation, I feel like people just be like, what are we supposed to do with this information? Like, yeah, I got to go to work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're like, I understand this is great, but like also like, it's like the same thing with the fucking pandemic. Okay. The pandemic's going on, but people are like, okay, but I have to go to work. They're like, yes. And so it's like, yes, I, it's, like it, it's like, it's a very similar kind of thing. And I agree with you. I, I, I think more and more than levels of that, there's people who are like me and Brie are going to be like, yeah, yep. And there's people who are like, it's the same thing. It's like, okay. And like, there's so many, that's a hundred percent what's going to happen. Now I have a question for the both of you. You said something earlier about a possibility of like a fake invasion. Do you think that there's a possibility that the reason that they're doing all this shit is because they're going to do something like that? Could that yes. be a possibility? That's, yes. Because I genuinely think that yes, that's I something do. that could possibly be happening in our very near future. That's why the kind of the war pulled out. Like, it just seems like the way things are going currently, that it just seems like a very, I don't know. It seems, Mark, I don't know if I die after I put this on the internet, you know, I believe that's no, 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 a We're real fine. alien invasion. Like, give it. To I would love a real. real yeah, I want the real 100%. shit. But I followed like- by an asteroid, either that, either an asteroid or oh, the asteroid alien invasion. would be it, great. Yeah. We have so, a lot of big asteroids coming by us lately too. So I'm like kind of hoping every time I wake up, I'm like, oh, another day. I'm just like, we need to start over. Yeah. Time- Brie, let's get your thoughts on Jamie's question because I can yeah. go off for like an hour on what she just asked me. I don't, I think it's possible. Okay. I don't believe it's going to happen just because I feel like they're too lazy. Okay. If that makes any sense. I think it might take too much effort, but I think that it okay. makes perfect sense because maybe if this whole thing with like what's going on in Afghanistan, maybe like if that all falls through and then there's no like threat, then they're like, all right, so next one, mm-hmm. you know. Well, they have to find a way to keep, you know, making money and spending, you know, spinning the wheels. Yes. It just seems, it just seems interesting. Like I said, the timing, they're releasing these government documents. We pull out of Afghanistan for once in our life. We're not in a war. It seems like we might go back to war with Afghanistan, but if aliens come first, then that's our bigger priority. Well, you we're know? still in so, Somalia and Syria and oh, yeah, there's oh, so many options. So many yeah. options. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I just think that, um, so one thing, things I do know that are true. PSYOPs are real. Yeah, we know this. False, that's a government false fact. flag. False flags are real. Fact. I know that's a conspiracy theorist trigger word, but false flags fact. are real. Are real. Are they 100% um, proven? And I believe that it's safe to say that technology uh, disclosed to the public is not even close to what they have their hands on. Oh, for sure. For sure. So, if you go down the list, like, let's just say our lifetime, right? Let's go mm-hmm. like, okay. Um, let's say like, I don't know. Let's start like 
HIV AIDS scare, not to say mm-hmm. that that's not real, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like just all the fear mongering that goes mm-hmm. on to mm-hmm. exploit the masses and consolidate power and funds and stuff. Yes. Then we had like, I guess, like the war on terror. Mm-hmm. Now we're dealing with coronavirus and I don't want to be divisive, but I'm very skeptical about the whole thing. Um, not to say that that's not real either, but it's like clearly people There's questions are around lots of using things. The, yeah. like it is real, but clearly there is things we are not being told and people are using it for to push agendas, whether that be consolidate power, consolidate wealth, uh, bring on the new world order, like whatever you want to go with. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and then we have like, I think the Afghanistan thing is kind of a distraction for some reason. I think that they're signaling that the hegemony uh no i think that afghanistan is a signal to the world that the hegemony of the american empire is on is crumbled and they're ushering in to bring china into the equation or something like that Mm. i don't know i'm still Mm. waiting on that but the point Mm. is as as things dwindle down with coronavirus and people be like dude we gotta go back to work like it is what it is this is what we have to deal with now yeah um the next thing I think is going to be climate change. Like in, again, I believe that the earth does warm and cool over years, but I do believe that those scientific facts can be co-opted by institutions for exploitation of power and money. And, you know, and then I think that after that, it's almost like the, the disclosure thing is seeding the population with um what would be traditionally in the conspiracy world known as project blue beam where they're going to stage a fake alien attack Mm -hmm. but i have heard from various sources that like people are too skeptical of the media and the government right now that they're not going to be doing that anytime soon Mm. which is kind of interesting i see i I would think the the exact opposite i would think everyone is so trusting of the fucking government and the media right now that they would just eat that fucking shit up like right now oh you're in you're on the west coast yeah Yeah, we're west coast over here and i you you have to remember bobby as much as as i love you and where you come from texas is his own weird fucking little bubble and you know it thank christ no but it genuinely technically when people say texas i think of texas as its own (laughs) fucking country at this point like it's very yeah it is it's a very different place than the rest of the world and as it should be i 100 percent agree but it is very the world out here is very different bobby very different everyone everyone believes the fucking government and the media right now it's very it's very disheartening they're all like i don't want anything to do with that shit i agree at this point Um, i feel like we should probably come to texas fuck it god maybe i don't want to be anywhere near them (laughs) just don't vote in gavin newsom when you get here do me a favor uh Um, i will (laughs) Uh oh she's like shots fired (laughs) okay well anyway I'm very uh, the, like liberal, so everyone should know fine. that. That's okay. And I'm right in the middle, and Bobby's nice, right? We have a nice, beautiful balance <laughs> nice of right. Yeah, who's nice gonna beautiful. hit the left? Who's gonna? I guess I'm the you, left. You're the left, and I gotta be right in the. I'm just middle. like a fucking dissident, like untrusting dissonant. Like I'm just like I'm not right or left. I'm just like this is all bullshit. I, and I agree no, with that's you. Here's True. why. I feel you on that too. I, like, I don't fucking subscribe to right or left paradigms. Like, no, and I retarded. agree with you on the same way. I, there's values on both sides. I could that care I less in. about politics in general. And yeah, I could care less. It's exactly. Stop the government. None of it fucking matters at the end of the day. We have bigger fish to fucking fry. Right. Uh-huh. Right. So, yeah, I just think that um, at worst case scenario, we are being seated for some sort of psyop to mm-hmm. impose something. And, I, have I mean. I have okay, a comment after go. this. You finish this thought and then I have something to. Okay. Well, I was going to, my, I have a comment. My comment was because Bobby was talking about oil and shit like that. Okay. So we're talking about Afghanistan, oil. this alien stuff, right? Like he never Wait. fucking said a word about oil. Yes, he did. Let's go. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did. And so he was talking about fucking Afghanistan and oil. He's okay. in Afghanistan, okay. but okay. He's that's so we're poppy, talking, that's okay. poppy, okay. poppy okay. fields, not so oil. Have, <laughs> so have you noticed now that we have this huge gas shortage, right? And a, a big reason that we were in Afghanistan is because let's be realistic is because of the oil that's there and we wanted to control it. All of a sudden we don't have power of it anymore which started a while ago that we lost started to lose power of it and what if we're finally able to talk about this alien bullshit and talk about maybe different ways of energy and this is a way of us phasing out of oil no there's no money in that no yeah but there could be when we're talking about all these spaceships that fucking all these billionaires are all of a sudden launching into space we got amazon he just fucking quit his job to pursue space full time there is a bigger opportunity out here that we are not understanding well, i there's think there's like 
reserves of them. minerals and like microchip minerals and crystals and shit all through Afghanistan. Like there's other resources besides oil in Afghanistan. No, I feel you, but is not oil one of the biggest drivers? I don't, I don't know. I know. But that I don't think Iraq. you can create, I don't think you can control a population as easily without that. And I think no matter what, what that'll be their too. main goal. But what if they found a way to? That's what I'm saying. We don't know what big shit's about to free come Free energy is free. Eh. Maybe they have found a way to harness it themselves and not make it free. We're going to make free energy expensive well, yeah, energy. You, if you get into mm-hmm. the stuff about like the what it costs to run the turbines and all that shit, it doesn't necessarily equate to saving Free energy, planet. yeah. Or just throw China and India in the mix. It's like, well, they're like the two biggest polluters in the world. What do you want to do about those guys? Like that Blast kind of shit, em. but I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bree's like nuke them, fuck it. Just I'll kidding. Nuke them. Her in charge of or anything. Just shit. The government in general is the <laughs> starting wars over here. She's like, fuck it, take them off the planet. Who cares? Uh, we need to reset. But, I'm telling you. I, I think the takeaway, one of the big takeaways here, is that like we are in an actual information war right now. Okay. Because like we all have our perspectives, and we all have mm-hmm. like our news sources. We have like what the things we subscribe to, but. Um, at the end of the day, I think that there is something, whether it be in the UFO community, whether it be on the coronavirus thing, whether it be mm-hmm. on Afghanistan, I think that there are forces at work here um, intentionally dividing us through uh, through information. And ultimately, it's like it's like a new phase of warfare. I think we are in mm. a unprecedented world war right now. Like, that's what I believe. But oh, I get what you're it, saying. It's, it's just not it's a happening. War. It's not happening like guns and boots on the ground kind of situation. Right. It's fucking like think about how think about how divided everyone is. People think against about, people. Like, think about how much coronavirus in general has like broken up friendships and family members or like Trump versus whoever's running against like that whole like the whole last mm. five years has been a massive like divisive and arguably intentional thing to and like you were saying with Twitter, even in the UFO community, it's like everyone's bitching about it and finally be like well what is the population going to do to bring order out of this chaos mm. they're going to look to the powers that be to when we say we've had enough at least that's the we plan. look to the government for it do you think maybe that's why they're being so trusting of this government ufo shit right now because of everything that's going on that they're just they're in this space where they believe the government so therefore all this information that they're putting out they're just fucking eating up yeah, I think I think inherently a lot of people are like that. They're just like, well, official sources said so, so it must be true. Whereas I'm like the exact opposite of that. Mm-hmm. I, feel, I feel like it's probably some type of fucking mass goddamn fucking hysteria, Jesus Christ, that they've fallen that's, into. Yeah, and that's part of it too, I think. But the a mass know. hysteria that they've created that people have like, I don't, I don't know. I, I guess we're some of the ones who uh don't fall into the bullshit of it. I never fall into any bullshit. Same. Yeah, it, it, going back to like the right versus left thing is like just stop listening to these people yeah. just stop like yeah. i don't care who it is yeah stop it because there's clearly an agenda behind all of it everything all of it. Everything. everything no one is no one is cool in my book and yeah, that no doesn't one. mean that agenda driven narratives are completely false no but it also means please don't take it at face value exactly and that's yeah. ultimately i think the problem with these people that are jumping on board and bandwagoning the whole ufo thing because homeboy at the cia said it was okay and then i really liked blink 182 when i was like in ninth grade mm-hmm. so tom delong would i think tom delong is uh ninth grade oh my god i'm old no i was listening to blink 182 when i was in sixth grade so that's like i'm younger than Not you that so would that wouldn't make sense yeah jesus breathe just a fucking musical genius over here you're like it's fine i was listening to blink 182 since I've- i was six that's why I just I still like him no matter what. If I see I him, I'd be like, I don't know. Oh I don't God. think he's a. I don't think he's a bad guy. I, I think don't think he he's got, a bad guy. I think he got played I by the government. I think he got played. Yes, he got played he by the played. government. But it even if he's realized that, I think he's okay with that. Like yeah, I, don't, I, I don't. I don't hold think it he realizes like, it. Still, that's my problem. He like desperately okay. still thinks he's so, so important. Let him be. No, he doesn't. He's nowhere. Again, that's what's, so, what's so ironic about all this is these. I don't know his warehouse. Is it exactly California. that's why we that's why it does with this ufo i don't know he won't tell us where the fuck he is he won't come out i'm just saying that come out come out and play <laughs> tell me boy <laughs> have you guys tried to interview him no never because no, i, I just i've always talked shit like, about dude, him there's what, no way he what are you i would doing? interview him just not the other one i i wouldn't <laughs> like, be there for that interview because lies. i would just shit talk and that would be <laughs> yeah, not be good exactly. for anyone 
everyone's like all yeah. oh, hail the cia man i'm like what the fuck listen i wanted to bring something up with you guys since okay, you're talking it. about like fake alien invasion the whole Tell us project about blue beam thing so okay. give it to us if all of this is faked okay. um there was a clip that was released um about a presentation that was done mm-hmm. and there was all a bunch of big players on it and there was an argument between these speakers about whether or not these UAP videos and stuff and what's happening in the nukes, um, all like the trouble with UFO and nukes or whatever could actually be us experimenting our own secret government craft on our own military to see how they respond, to see if we can shut down our own nuclear sites, what would happen. I think even the tick, you can make that argument about the Tic Tac video. So that's what it was. It was about the yeah. Tic Tac videos. Like, how do we know that's like not all ours? these government videos? They weren't like, yeah, you like, secret, the, like, like dark like, programs. The, wouldn't you use that against your best military? To yeah, be like or, the government tricks its own people. Why would it not trick its own military? Like, it, so, like it, there's yeah. definitely like people think like everyone in the military knows what's going on. Like, oh, no, 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 no. no, no. So no. they're like, mm. people are always like, well, they can't contain UFOs. Everyone in the government can't, can't, you know, talk about it. But like, uh, of course it can, because anytime any official source comes out and says, hey, by the way, like that guy from Canada that just died, I R R I P. What's his name? Uh, Paul Hellyer. Paul yeah, Hellier. Paul Hellyer just died. And everyone's like, oh, this guy's fucking crazy. I'm like, well, you know, who do you want to hear it from then? Yeah, like who do you want and, this you know, again, to And from? I'm skeptical about government narratives, but that guy seemed relatively legit. Like, I 100% I agree with you. He seemed it like was a very legit. legit. I yeah. Maybe it's a Canadian peace. thing. It very. definitely is. Yeah, very, but it's very just different. interesting when I heard the theory because I'm not saying that I subscribe to it, but I think that it to me that makes fucking sense. Yeah, of course you're. Why challenge else then your... would it be released? Yeah, and then yeah, if you're... we want to go with the whole like fake alien invasion, this is the perfect way to release this video. Like, oh my god, look what look at them, they're do. here. Yeah, and it was incredible to see the reactions online. Oh, I know. I, I know what you're talking about. It was on Twitter. I know exactly what the fuck you're talking about. It was on Twitter. This, it was on this TikTok. Really, this really divided people. People, a lot of people, I saw that people were like, our government would never it's do that. still going crazy. Is it it's really? still going crazy. Oh my God. And people I'm are so like, that we would Twitter. never do that to ourselves. That would be so reckless. Why would we do that against our own people? And I'm thinking, do all of these people then believe that 9-11 was done from like, not us? Yeah, yeah it, no, it these was, are like people who genuinely just, think 9 11 was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not only that, or, but do you not remember when they experimented on all of those black people with AIDS and, and things like that? And then they had to come out and apologize later yeah, and like get had, the money for it. Like, there's several it. times that the government has physically and mentally harmed us on purpose. On purpose. Several, and then, like, try like, they were like hundreds. oopsies, our bad, our bad. Oh, sorry about that. Like, like, we would never do that on our government. And so like, Tuskegee like, experiments, MK Ultra. Project I, Mockingbird, or uh, yeah, like there's just like, uh, there's so many. like since when? Since yeah, like, exactly. Like that would be so dangerous. It's like oh, like, well, that was that was back then. They don't do that anymore. I'm like the okay, only thing I thought of was uh, 9/11. How many people died? How many great people in a service died? Have you guys been like, watching the 9/11 innocent. documentary that like uh, Spike on Lee's Hulu? Been doing? Yeah, the one that Spike Lee's doing. Is he doing it? I, I I'm watching one on uh, Hulu. He's truth curious, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, this last episode that's supposed to come out this week or whatever, he had to edit it down because the community got really mm-hmm. pissed because he went very like truther, like 9-11 truther. Oh, and man, the pe- I don't think I've seen it. I've and been then, watching a no, no, Hulu one. That's what that I think I I don't know if it's on Hulu, HBO, it's on something, right? And it's he keeps releasing a new episode every week. And a lot of the beginning episodes were like people talking about their experiences and stuff like that. But this last episode was like pre-screened to the media and it was very very truther talking about like 9-11 conspiracy theorists and he cut it out because the like the media the people who saw it were like bro you cannot fucking air this shit oh my god i need to know if it's the one i've been watching i've only seen two episodes because only two have been released but that's because it's on hulu that's they I, release the you should look, them. i don't remember what it's called but i swear to god it's like spike lee or some shit, shit doing makes it. me fucking that's cry okay. like a baby and which is really like, interesting because in the beginning of the show mm-hmm they're like following the battalion chief for that day or he was the battalion chief Mm -hmm. and um they like they're out there with a camera because there's fucking gas leaks everywhere Mm. so they're like down the street around the block 
with meters because there's a gas leak going off everywhere. And I'm like, no one thinks that's fucking suspicious. Like and then all the like other the, things. And then it's like, and like the camera like pans up and it's the fucking plane and hits the tower. And I'm just like, did they purposely put that scene in there? So I wonder if that's where it was going to go because to me, that I'd would like, make sense. So that, 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 that's that what you're watching then. Yeah. I think it might be on HBO is where it's coming out. Like all the way, all the I way. Wonder, you should it's check it out. National Geographic. And it's Mick. And it's like the footage from the um, memorial. No, I don't know if that's the same one. This one. He's like interviewing people and shit. Oh, then it's not the same. Okay. Well, we need to, everyone needs to watch both because we're coming up on the anniversary here on 9-11. Rest in peace to all the people who passed away. So I'm sorry. obsessed. I saw the first episode last night and I had dreams about it all day all day and then i watched the second one today and i'm just like can't wait for bobby the bobby what are your thoughts on this 9 11 shit i don't know if we've ever i came here to talk about UFOs. Oh, shit. i know <laughs> i mean no it it's was, sorry was it a, like... wasn't it united it's like an unidentified 93. flying object yeah, there, there's definitely some uh, like, fuckery afoot it? with that story i love it. i don't know I, that, that, like that, that whole thing just depresses me to the point where i <gasps> It makes me I know, cry. I yeah, know enough cries, about yeah. like the the truther approach to that whole thing where but I'm like, okay, fine. Like I know the official story is not true, but I just don't. Yeah. You don't want to go there. I don't really, I don't really dabble in that stuff as Ooh, too dark. Can help it. Too dark. Little little too depressing for me, but I think it's I'm like glad there's cry. people out there like digging into it, you know. All right, back it to it just th- hurts me. All right, back to them fucking aliens then, Brie. Give me some well, alien shit. It's more relevant. It's it's so relevant for right now. I though. agree with you 100 percent I think it's so tied into what we have going on right now that people don't realize it. So, anyway, that's what I thought of. And I just wanted to like scream at all these people, but then I'm like, this is I can't feed into this. And I just need to like get the fuck out of here. It is interesting how <laughs> like the the like it's completely for the most part, it's way more acceptable to question the official narrative of 9-11 now than it was say like even like 10 15 years ago yeah um where it's like oh you're like one of those people that like quite like what like like okay if that's the pattern of history of like what's acceptable to talk about why not talk about the skepticism of anything that happened like yesterday right it's like well it's too emotional like it's affected too many people it's like okay but do we want truth here or do we want do we want to like hash this out now before it's like things happen that are, yeah before it's too late because like it's just so weird how I remember like driving through Houston probably like 2003 ish and maybe somewhere around there and there were people like on an overpass like there were a bunch of 9-11 truthers and everyone was like those people are fucking crazy, crazy. and now it's just like oh yeah like clearly no, that's, that's just those people that's but that's not... kind of indicative of the alien community is it not yes there's yes, this very I mean, big the same thing yeah that's the thing is like if you want to take everything at face value that the media tells you or the official story from the government like look at the patterns of history and say well the crate like the the i think it was obama that said the arc of history bends towards justice i think the arc of history bends towards crazy people being correct the entire fucking time yeah. now there is two there is uh taking too many red pill- pills where you just go fucking nuts and, and believe anything there's a nice believe balance every there. Everything, every fucking yeah. conspiracy right. out there and there's some people out there who are like that that's a big part of the community right now i think sure they fucking kill me and i think we need those people. Real. i think we need those i don't people. like those people i think that <laughs> they should but at some point you have to subscribe to something or you're just gonna go fucking nuts yeah no 100 percent. you have to know what you have to start i don't to subscribe, subscribe to something to too many things i feel I like do. i'm always in but, the but like you, maybe not subscribe to but you have to like she questions. You I'm, have to, I'm like, a professional middle bitch. Yeah, you I have to hold my fucking some you really are. <laughs> to have more merit than other things. Yeah, I would agree with that. Like, there's definitely things that I think are more worth questioning than others. Sometimes I hear theories and I like, well, I think a good example is, okay, like the Mandalay Bay shooting, right? Like I heard people immediately were like conspiracy theory and I like rolled my eyes, like what the fuck ever. But then there's other we things that were. happen. There's other things that happen where I'm just like, ah, uh, like, okay, Ep- Epstein killing himself. I'm like, mm, nope, that's immediately red flags. So it's like, there's, there's levels to things, but I think there's some people out there who anything that happens, they immediately jump down this conspiracy rabbit hole. And mm-hmm. there are some things things out there that deserve that but there's a lot of a lot of that happening and we can't stop that that's just people that's how people are you mm-hmm. know what i mean so it puts it it's hard to look into stuff like that when we have people out there jumping down jumping the gun on everything 